Hello and welcome to this new tutorial and I'm going to show you how we can apply sheet Thomasy corner detector which they published in their paper known as good features to track. So let us get started. I already created a Windows Forms application and I configured it to use EMGU CV 4.2. You can check one of my previous videos how to configure it to use in Windows Forms applications. So now I'm going to add uh, in the feature detector. Last time I shown you Harris corner detector and now I'm going to show how can we detect features using Shi Tomasi or which is known as good features to trade detector. So double click on this menu and I'm going to copy most of the code from my hardest detector. So I'm just copying it and pasting it into my uh, new uh, strip menu items uh, click event. And uh, here I don't need to open this dialog or the parameter. So what I'm going to do, or maybe I don't need it here. So what essentially I'm going to do is first to make sure that I have an image to work with. So IMG list inside my list and usually the input image I just want if it is equals equals now, we can say that return. So I'm not going to do anything. So otherwise, I'm just going to read that image IMG list uh, into an image variable. And I'm reading it from this dictionary input. And instead of just copying the reference, I'm cloning it so that it will not affect my original copy. And to apply the sheet Thomas C, I just need the grayscale image so I can convert it into a grayscale image. So IMG dot convert and I can convert into a grayscale by passing this gray and I just want the depth to be white. And once uh, I have the gray image, now I can apply the sheet Tomasi uh, detector to find the best features. And to do that in EMGU CV, we have GFTT detector. So you can see that GFTT detector. And also in the CUDA version, we have the name as CUDA good features to track detector. So GFTT detector, you can give it any name to it. Let's say I give it detector and I can create an object of it and here there are some default uh, parameters you can see how many corners that they want maximum number of corners to detect and what will be the quality level minimum distances block sizes should we use the hardest or not default it is false so as i mentioned earlier that you can try with these different parameters and I'm just going to use the default parameters. And once we have the object of the detector, now it's time to detect the corners. So variable corners is equal to detector dot detect method. So I'm going to use the detect method on my grayscale image. And hopefully it will give me the detected corners and the most important corners according to the default parameter settings that we have defined. So the maximum was 1000. And once we have the corners, we can draw them. So uh, instead of using a for loop and uh, drawing them as I shown you in hardest corner detector, we can use uh, a toolbox uh, draw key points method uh, which are present in the toolbox. So this is requiring a, an output image so I just I'm creating this output image where we will be writing the drawing the corners into so features 2d toolbox dot draw key points this is the method that we will use to draw the uh, key points and uh, which are basically the images uh, input image this is the input uh, image so this is the so this was the input image, so image. And these are the corners that we found it. 
this is the output image and we want this color to be new BGR in red color if you want 0 to 55 and the rest of the parameters just keep them as default and since this one is expecting a vector of key points and we have provided a M key point array so let me create a new vector of key points and inside I pass these corners so that they will be converted into vector of points so once we have these points uh, drawn by this method now we can display this image so uh, picture box dot image is equal to uh, out image dot to bitmap so we just use these uh, draw key points method and it will output the method by drawing these key points around it and uh, let's see what these key points are detected by the she thomas okay so let me open a file uh, an image let me select the same building and i just want to detect the she thomas so now you can see that the number of uh, edges are the most important corners that are detected by Shito Masi are much greater than the hardest detector. So if I apply the hardest also, and if we change it, for example, so since I have drawn them myself, so these are, of course, there may be many of them will be common also. And uh, so if we do the processing on the sheet Masi, you can see these are the most important corners if i change for example this and uh, from 1000 to if i increase that i just want to be 2000 and for the quality level uh, multiplier of the maximum eigenvalues for example if i say 0 0.06 and let's see the impact of the changes on the quality of the output so let me open it the same image and now i have increased to 2000 so hopefully we are getting much more uh, features but remember that getting more features may not be always very good maybe for example these these are the features or the corners which may, we may not require for example which are not useful for us or maybe these these points which are i mean very close to each other so uh, not always all of those features might be very useful for us especially when we are doing the feature matching so the one of the corners is enough for us for example in this region and these two are very close to each other then it will become more complex for it will take more time for processing so uh, as as usual we we just detected the corners we can once we detect the key points then we can describe those key points or detect uh, robust features around those areas using the methods that i have already shown and then we can perform a matching to find out the correspondence between two uh, images so this is uh, it for now and hope to see you in another video